Did you know that currently 5.4 million Americans grapple with paralysis affecting in 1 in 50 individuals? On a global scale, hundreds of millions face the challenge of lacking basic control over their bodies. Envision a world where independence could be restored to these individuals. Enter Neuralink with its groundbreaking brain-computer interface technology aiming to bridge the gap between the brain and paralyzed muscles, potentially transforming lives. In our exploration today, we delve into Neuralink's ambitious plans for the inaugural human trials, marking a significant milestone in their quest. The implantable device, designed to facilitate mind control over digital devices, is about to undergo scrutiny in the PRIME study recently granted approval for clinical trials in the US. This pivotal investigation focuses on two paramount objectives, assessing the safety of Neuralink's N1 implant and validating the efficacy of their cutting-edge neurosurgical robot responsible for the intricate installation procedure. This approval marks the combination of years of effort since Neuralink's inception in 2016, spearheaded by the unconventional Elon Musk and a cohort of eight tech visionaries and neuroscientists. While their immediate goal resolves around aiding paralyzed patients, Musk's grand vision extends to establishing high-bandwidth brain communication with advanced AI systems through neural interfaces. The initial trial is said to enroll a modest number of participants, initially focusing on those with complete paralysis below the neck. This paralysis may result from traumatic spinal cord injuries or degenerative conditions like ALS affecting motor neurons. This trial aims to validate the basic functionality in humans before advancing further. So, what exactly is Neuralink developing and what does this significant clinical trial entail? At its core, their pioneering technology is a brain-computer interface or BCI, a system translating neurological signals into digital code comprehensible to other devices. This trial represents a pivotal step toward realizing their broader vision. Neuralink's BCI comprises several integral components, with the focal point being the N1 implant, a compact, disc-shaped device equipped with multiple microprocessor chips dedicated to processing brain data. The implant seamlessly connects wirelessly to a compact computer unit featuring Bluetooth and USB-C charging capabilities. This innovative setup empowers study participants to effortlessly control smartphones or laptops solely through their neural activity. Within the implant, arrays of miniaturized flexible electrodes play a crucial role. Each electrode is constructed from a super fine thread, measuring a mere 4 to 6 micrometer in width, thinner than a human hair. The surgical robot, with precision, inserts these tiny threads into specific regions of the patient's motor cortex responsible for generating intentions to make movements. Remarkably, up to 1,024 of these flexible electrodes can directly tap into neural firing patterns offering unprecedented access to a person's raw motor commands. Effectively translating intentions into actions, these electrodes enable the transformation of neural data which is then wirelessly transmitted to Neuralink's custom smartphone app for comprehensive processing. In paralyzed patients with severe connection between their brains and muscles, these implants serve as the crucial missing link, providing a means for them to seamlessly control computers or mobile devices simply by thinking about specific movements. The N1 surgical robot, affectionately nicknamed by Neuralink, emerges as a pivotal player in this groundbreaking process. Specifically engineered by Neuralink for the installation of the brain electrodes, this robot operates with unparalleled precision. Claiming an accuracy that can hit a target as small as strawberry seed in under 5 minutes, the robot resembles a highly advanced sewing machine. Equipped with sophisticated instrument for skull drilling, electrode insertion, and meticulous stitching, this robot ensures a level of accuracy and consistency beyond the reach of manual intervention by human surgeon. The surgical procedure, far from conventional, involves peeling back the patient's scalp and removing a coin-sized section of the skull, exposing the outer surface of the brain. When access granted, the robot autonomously conducts the entire electrode insertion process, relying on pre-op MRI scans showcasing unique anatomical structures. Here's the remarkable part. Neuralink asserts that the robot surgeon can complete the entire procedure in less than an hour. 
This stance is in stark contrast to the traditional method of manually implanting a single electrode, a task that often requires multiple hours and an entire surgical team. The unprecedented speed, precision, and efficiency of these robotic process position Neuralink to scale up implant volumes at a significantly faster pace. The official four-year clinical trial timeline recently approved by Neuralink is an intricate journey aimed at realizing the transformative potential of their technology. In year one, the focus is on implant enrollment and gathering baseline health data while evaluating inclusion criteria. Following this, the surgery phase commences, implanting the first cohort with Neuralink's electrodes and N1 sensors. The initial patients will receive lower doses of electrodes to closely monitor safety, with later groups utilizing the full capacity of 1,024 channels to refine the calibration process. Monthly checkups in the early stages will monitor wound healing and facilitate hardware adjustments. Participants will gradually transition into continuous testing using their thoughts to control various digital devices. Weekly follow-ups will synchronize mental commands with actions on a computer aided by machine learning to decode and transmit neural firing patterns into executable signals. Over time, the translation process aims for increased smoothness and reliability with researchers analyzing metrics such as speed, precision of movement, and low latency. Fine-tuning of sensors and software will optimize functionality. After two years of meticulous testing and monitoring, Neuralink plans to submit safety data for regulatory review. If approved, more widespread trials may be conducted, with the total number of human participants potentially reaching around 100 people. By the end of year 4, Neuralink aspires to demonstrate paralyzed patients skillfully manipulating robotic arms or animating digitally rendered hands using only the electrical activity of neurons, no physical movement required. However, it's crucial to bear in mind that the success of these endeavors hinges on obtaining FDA approval, a formidable hurdle given the rigorous standards for medical devices interfacing directly with the central nervous system. While the technology promises incredible possibilities, a cautious optimism is warranted. Imagine, for a moment, the life-altering impact on individuals who have lost all independent mobility but could potentially regain it through thought alone. From controlling a motorized wheelchair to using phones, computers, and even engaging in creative activities like digital drawing, the potential transformation in these patients' lives is profound and inspiring. The potential implication of Neuralink's technology extend far beyond addressing disabilities, envisioning a future where it plays a role in enhancing human cognition for healthy individuals. Elon Musk anticipates that neural interfaces, or neural laces, will facilitate high bandwidth connection between human brains and advanced AI systems, unlocking transhuman abilities such as electronic telepathy, hyperintelligence, and shared consciousness. The possibilities for the future are truly mind-boggling. As Neuralink takes the first steps in this direction, the technology's evolution holds promise. The trend towards seamless biodigital convergence, blurring the boundaries between biology and technology, is becoming more evident. With smartphones already feeling like external appendages, housing vast knowledge and memories, the idea of migrating such process under our skin is not far-fetched. However, ethical concerns loom large, covering issues of privacy, security, identity, algorithmic bias, access inequality, and the potential for misuse of such powerful tools. Medical safety is a paramount consideration, with human trials serving as a crucial litmus test for the technology's benign integration into living tissue. Successfully navigating these challenges could pave the way for astonishing progress in the years and decades to come. The acceleration of brain tech by Neuralink and other competitors indicates a fast-paced transition into an era where the convergence of biology and technology becomes increasingly tangible. To conclude, leaving a comment about what excites or concerns you the most about this radical neural tech is an invitation to engage in the ongoing dialogue about the future. Feel free to share your thoughts, and if you enjoyed this journey into the future, don't forget to smash that like button and click subscribe for more.